learning matters because building your capabilities and tapping into the ones that you already have helps you to feel more satisfied in life and it sets you up for better mental health in the long term and you can learn in lots of different ways which is good news if the idea of going back to school makes your head explode when you learn new skills it can have an enormous impact not only on your short-term capabilities in terms of being able to pass the course or do the thing that you've been learning to do but also also it helps your longer term evolution as a person. So in this video I'm talking about why continuous learning matters and how to build your capabilities for better mental health. So let's talk about capability. Capability and learning go hand in hand with growth. And somebody once said, without growth, we stagnate. Okay, it was me that said that in episode 125 of my podcast, Let's Talk About Mental Health. And I feel like it's a good reminder that your capability, in other words, having the power or ability to do or be something, is really crucial because it's good for your mental health to feel stimulated and challenged. And it's not just something that stops when you finish school. Learning is a lifelong process and there's always plenty of new things to learn. Being able to go from idea to reality really shows you what you're capable of and that can help push you into more of a growth mindset. So the good news is that your ability to learn is not fixed because you can always learn new things and grow. And that's because your brain can rewire itself at almost any age. So you can always learn new skills and capabilities in order to grow. And growth helps you to find greater satisfaction in life. You don't need to go back to school or read the encyclopedia to build your capability. I mean, hey, there's an entire chunk of YouTube devoted to teaching us how to do random things like installing tiles in your bathroom. Trust me, I've watched about 82 of them, which is pretty dangerous because I'm not great at DIY, but I'm getting closer and closer to thinking I might be able to give it a go. So fingers crossed for me if I do. My point is that understanding what you're capable of is fundamental for growth. And there are different ways to learn and learning new skills helps you to improve your capabilities and also using the skills that you already have can help you to build a greater sense of achievement and you take all of those things that helps you to turn your thoughts and ideas into reality the thing is that if you can think it then you can create it so if you want to build your capability learn learning never stops and it's what helps you to grow you're in the driver's seat when it comes to your life and so if you decide that you want to learn how to build a canoe from scratch, or do the choreography for your favorite song, then I say, have at it. Make it happen. You are more than capable of doing anything you set your mind to. Just remember that all things take time, effort, and perseverance. So be patient and put in the work. So with all that in mind, here are three ways to build your capabilities. Starting with, consider what you already know. Because we often have long forgotten skills and experiences that we can tap into with a refresher. And when you realize what you already know, it can feel really motivating. Take some time to sit down and reflect on your own experiences throughout your life, professional, personal, educational, and then make a list of different skills that you've already developed over time. And then think about how you might be able to either use them again, or if you need a bit of a refresher, work out how you can do that. Either way, it's going to be quicker than learning something new from scratch. Okay, so when you are ready to learn new things, or if you need to, for example, for your career or to complete a specific task, then you should consider what you enjoy because this can help you to see possible ways to build new skills in an area you're interested in, which increases your motivation. It really helps if you like what you're learning about. So think about stuff that brings you joy and satisfaction and let that guide you when you're thinking about what you might want to learn. Look, we all have to do mundane things from time to time and so even if we have to put our heads down and push through to get the things done that need to be done, we can also make sure that we're thinking critically about what actually brings us enjoyment and fulfillment so that we can then incorporate more of building those sorts of capabilities into our learning. 
Okay, next, make a plan and make it happen. Because now you need to do something with the ideas that you thought about in the last two steps. But this is also about actually considering the specifics of what you'll do to learn and build your capabilities. You can come up with all the ideas that you like of what you need to and want to learn in order to build on your existing capabilities, but a plan is nothing without the action to follow it up. And to do that, you need to make it a priority. So if it matters to you, then make it matter. Set clear intentions around what you will focus on, make a plan, break it down into the smallest possible steps, and then see it through one step at a time. Be patient and stay focused. And remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. So here's what I want you to take away from this video. You can always learn new things. It's never too late to learn something new and you can teach an old dog new tricks. It's just a question of whether or not the individual in question is stubborn and set in their ways or if they're open to new thoughts and ideas and willing to change. And two, learning improves your mental health because growth helps us to see all of the possibilities and that can lead us to be a better version of ourselves and to find both hope and optimism. So what are you going to focus on learning next? Let me know in the comments below and let me know how you feel about learning. I would love to know. You can explore this topic further in episode 144 of my podcast, Let's Talk About Mental Health, which is linked in the episode description. And I mentioned earlier in this video that learning can make you feel better about yourself, which helps to give you a much more positive sense of self-worth. And I talked about other ways to improve your sense of self-worth in this video. So click here to watch it next. Thank you very much for joining me today. Take care and talk to you next time.